Hey, it's Mr. Kaczynski here, working through IXL's 8th grade math skills, section F, multiplication and division with exponents, putting it together, along with uh, negative exponents too that we've already discussed in previous um, videos as well. All right, so when multiplying numbers at the same base, and these both have the same base, 929, and it is multiplication, when we multiply numbers at the same base, we add the exponents. So we just do 86 plus the 6 is 92, and that's our answer, um, 929 to the 92nd power. We're just being asked to express our answer using positive exponents. You put that in your calculator, it can't handle that big of a number anyway, so we're going to have to leave it like that, 929 to the 92nd power. All right, when you're dividing numbers at the same base, 389 and 389, so we're dividing numbers at the same base, what do we do with the exponents then? We subtract them. So we're going to do 5 minus 2 is 3, okay? And one more basic review here with properties is that uh, what happens when we're dividing numbers at the same base, 671, but the number on bottom is bigger than the number on top? We could look at this as 3 minus 9 is negative 6, um, but instead what I'm going to do is Think about it as 1 over 671 to the positive 6. And that's what a negative exponent is anyway. It's, it represents repeated division instead of repeated multiplication. All right, so now let's get into the nitty-gritty as far as this is concerned. Um, all base 327, okay? So I'm going to leave the top alone for right now, 327 to the second power. On the bottom, I'm going to rewrite that numerator as 327 to the third power because 7 plus negative 4 is negative 3. And then I'll use that rule that I just learned, or that I just talked about, rather. Um, since I've got more 327s on the bottom than I do on the top, um, I'll, I'll do 3 minus 2 is 1. All right, you don't really need that one. I don't think if you put it in, IXL marks it wrong, although your math teachers, it'll probably drive them crazy. I know it does for me. No unnecessary ones. All right, similar idea right here, but maybe just slightly different. Again, I'm going to leave that 179 to the first power alone on top. On the bottom, um, I'm going to multiply. So they're both base 179, so I can add the exponents. So negative 3 plus negative 1 is negative 4. And then at this point, again, I'm doing 179 minus negative 4. 179 minus negative 4 is like 1 plus 4, which is 5. So 179 to the fifth power there. 1 minus negative 4 is positive 5. All right, really no difference here other than the multiplication is occurring on top first. So we'll simplify the numerator a little bit. 405 to the negative third power. Negative 1 plus negative 2 is negative 3. And then let's subtract. Negative 3 minus uh, 1 is negative 4. Okay, but positive exponents, so we're going to make this 1 over 405 to the fourth. And again, if I, if I would have just done at the very beginning here, or not... In the second step, 1 minus negative 3, that is positive 4. So 1 over 405 to the 4th. And then we get into some problems that we have repeated um, multiplication and more than, one, uh, more than one set of multiplication here. But 530 is the base for all three of those expressions, and we're multiplying all three of them together. So we'll just do 14 plus negative 4 is 10 plus 33 is 43, 530 to the 43rd power. And one more, looks the same, but maybe slightly different here. 135 is our base. We're multiplying numbers at the same base, which means we can add the exponents. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus negative 8 is negative 6. But then we're going to rewrite this as a fraction because that's what negative exponents are, repeated division. So 1 over 135 to the 6th power. All right, we didn't get into a lot of the why. This is just the how. Um, but 
that should get you going and a better understanding of negative exponents, multiplying and dividing with exponents, a little bit of order of operations there. And good luck on this skill in section F of IXL's 8th grade math.